All right. Um, so what I'd like to go over with the session for is a couple of the main important things. The first part is our imaginary unit. So our imaginary unit is what we call I. That's that nice little I, and I like, and it has a nice little tail on it. All right. Sometimes not that extravagant of a tail, but it has a little tail. And that's what our I. And remember, our I is equal to the square root of negative one. Right? Right. So we have our imaginary unit is I. Then we have an imaginary number. So an imaginary number, we come in the form of bi. What? B? Where does B come from? Bi, where does B come from? Well, where B is a real number. So all B is is just a real number. So it's like 5i, right? Or even i is a real number because you have 1i, right? 1 times i. So all imaginary numbers are is when you have an imaginary unit multiplied by your coefficient, which would be our real number. All right. So we have an imaginary unit, which is i, an imaginary number, which is our imaginary unit times a real number, and then we have our lovely complex numbers. So complex numbers come in the form of a plus bi. So you're going to want to make sure you write your complex numbers in the form a plus bi, or you're not going to get credit for it being a complex number. So that's the form we want them to be written in. So on complex numbers, we have them broken down. We have a, and we have bi. Well, we know bi is an imaginary number, right? So we call that like the imaginary part of the complex number. or the imaginary number you know, of a complex number. And then the A is going to be your real part. All right, But it's important for complex numbers to understand that where, in this case, A and B are real numbers. Okay. So I guess I could even write like an example here would be 5i. An example here would be uh, negative 1 minus 7i. Right? You have a real and you have an imaginary. All right? Now you might say, well, it's not plus, Mr. McClough. It has to be plus. Oh, fine. I'll write it as a plus. Right? You can always change a subtraction problem to an addition problem. That one always gets so many students. They're like, the form is A plus BI. This is subtract. Well, you can change the subtraction to an addition. Okay? So that's the difference between imaginary unit, imaginary number, and complex number. All right? Very good? No. Okay. Fine.